Hi guys, my name is Steven, and welcome to video number 16 of my new series called Introduction to Code Igniter. What we'll be showing you guys in this video is we'll be taking our website that we've made so far, and we'll, we will be making the, the values and the data actually be drawn from a database instead of just from an HTML sheet. And by doing that, we'll be actually making the website uh, more or less dynamic uh, in the fact that, or in the sense <clears throat> that other things can update or other uh, scripts like a CMS could actually update the database and make that content uh, change without actually having to change any HTML, which is extremely powerful and extremely useful in the in the industry of uh, web development today. Uh, it's actually what I make a living doing. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. What we'll what we'll start with uh, is we're actually going to create the database that we that we'll be putting all the values into, and then we'll be taking the motive. Uh, we'll go into our PHP My Admin. And we'll create a new database. We'll call it CI underscore site. Database CI underscore site has been created. Excellent. So we can actually go to it and we're going to create a new table on here called page data. The number of columns, it will be five. We'll have five columns. And I'll show you what those are in a second. We'll click go. First one will be ID, obviously. Um, sure you use. I'm sure you're used to doing this by now. Index primary, auto increment. The second will be the title of the of the page. In this case, that'll just be text. Um, varchar would would work just fine if you're not using this this version of PHP My Admin. Um, the next one we're going to do is the page to specify for this row which page it's for. Um, text one. So these are both text as well. And then text two. Excellent. Um, so now this is done. We can click, scroll to the bottom and click save. That's done. So now we'll go into this table and we'll add our values. We'll go insert. And now, um, if you remember a couple videos ago, we actually put this content home, content about. Uh, we filled these up, and this is actually what makes up the bulk of our data on our website. So if we refresh this, this is exactly what's coming out of these views. What we want to do is put this data on the database so that it's drawing, so that these values aren't in the HTML, they're in the database. So we'll just start copying and pasting all of these, the title, this home page um, for this row. We'll copy and paste them all into the database, and then we'll take them out in a minute. The second is this string of text right here, I guess I should copy from the HTML. Copy. Um, this goes in for text one. Oh, I made a mistake. This is not supposed to be int. So let's go back into structure. We'll just cancel this. The so structure change should be text. Save. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Now we'll go in and insert this. First title. Is home page. Text one. Let's check out my awesome, my awesome business. And the second one is the second p tag. Uh, this whole lower Mipson string, which actually. Oh, I guess uh, this. I put this one in for page. We're actually going to put it in for text one. The page is uh, this one will obviously be home, and I'll show you why that's set there for a reason uh, in a minute. Okay, so uh, now that we have the first row completed, it's got ho the title of home page. ID we leave blank because that's auto incremented. That'll be automatically set to one. Page is home. Text one is this. Text two is that. We'll do the second thing for the about page. We go to the about view. Actually, just copy this. Actually, retype it. About page. This is for the about page, so we'll only put this. And I'll. Sh this is very important. Um, for text one. Is I guess the same thing. So for that Lauren Mipson string, we'll actually just copy and paste it from up here too. Control C. Control V. Okay, so this should be all good to go. We'll click go and then browse. 
and then our two rows in our database have now been entered. Um, this won't change anything that in our code yet. We're actually going to go ahead and do that right now. So the first thing we want to do is create a new model that's actually going to get these values from the database. No, sorry. The first thing we want to do is configure the database. So we'll go into config, database. Now the host name for me is going to be localhost. Um, and that is found right here. I'll show you. If we go back to the, click on the PHP MyAdmin logo, and then I'll show you server localhost for me, right? Um, and you can also see that my user is root. There's no password because this is a local server with no security set up. So I have no secure, I don't have to worry about security. Um, so we'll go and we'll put my username is root, password blank, and the database. We just set that up, that's ci underscore site. So we'll save this. And if we refresh our application, um, we can actually tell if, uh, if we had any errors. So click refresh, and there's no errors. If, if we did have a problem connecting, it would actually show us if we refresh the page. Um, okay, the second thing I'm going to do is we're going to go into our models. We haven't created that. Okay, we'll go into models. We're going to create a new model that's going to get these values from the database now that we're connected. We'll call it this model underscore get dot PHP. Go into it, and here we'll write our model. Class model underscore get extends ci underscore model. And here's where we'll write our, fun our function. We'll call it, um, oh, let's see, what should, what should we call it? Get data, because that's what it does. Now, this function will receive one parameter, and that will just be page. Um, so that we can use the same function for both uh, the different uh, functions in our controller. And I'll show you that in a second, too. Um, what we'll do is we'll create our query object, set that equal to this db get underscore where um okay uh, get where actually reset it receives two parameters the first is uh is the table that we're is the table that we're getting it from we've already specified the the database which is ci underscore site the table is page data, and the second is the where specifier. So that is an array, or it's an, it receives an associative array. So the first thing will be uh, the row that we're going to compare the value to, and the, s the second will be actually the variable that we pass in, which is page. So we're going to specify when we call this function which page we're running the function for, and then it's actually going to grab that row um, from the database and then return it. So we'll go return uh, the query object and the result of it. And that is a function. So those param those go there. Um, another thing we have to do is check and, see, check and make sure that the database uh, library is turned on. So we'll do that really quick, actually. We'll go config, auto load. And this is something that we usually want to have auto loaded. Um, and it is. So if you're having problems, or this will prevent problems if you're trying to use the DB functions uh, ahead of time. So this model should be good to go. We'll go back into our site controller and start using it. So what we'll do is we'll go, we'll load the model. We'll go this load model. And the model will be model underscore get yes. Now we'll call a function the model. We'll go this model underscore get and then get data. And for this one, because it's for the home page, we're going to pass in the value of home. So our model then is going to receive whatever we pass in. In this case, it's home. And it's going to look on the database for the row where the page is home. And we're actually going to do one more thing. We're going to make a new array, the data array, which is pretty common. I use the data array a lot. And we're going to set it equal 
the uh, create a new array inside the data array called results and set it equal to whatever to the array that is returned uh, full of the row from the database uh, from this model. Um, the next thing we want to do is pass in the data array to the view that we want to use it in. In this case, it will be the content underscore home view. And then if we go into content underscore home, we have all this text that now no longer needs to be static because we're basically, the, the controller is handing it to the view and now we can use it inside the view. Um, so what we'll do is we'll leave that for now and we'll open up our PHP tags. And we will start a for each statement. We'll say for every results as row. So it's going to re be receiving this results array passed from the site controller, which um, will be this variable here, which essentially will be the array returned from the, from the database. Um, for each row. And then we're going to start grabbing some values out of it out of this array. So the title will be row title, the text one will be uh, row text one, and text two will be row text two. Okay, wonderful. Um, the next thing we want to do is we will echo out a heading, which will be replacing this. Uh, and we do have the URL helper already auto-loaded, so we can actually use the heading function, part of the auto-load helper. We'll go title, and it'll be an h1 tag. So we can delete this. Next thing we'll do is we'll actually delete this stuff. We'll go open up our PHP tags. And we will echo text one. Then we can delete this and just duplicate this line. Uh, in case you're not familiar, I just press Control D. I'm in PHP ED. The command is the same for Notepad plus plus. And other than that, I'm not sure. But um, in the second line, we'll be echoing text two instead of text one because we grab both of them up here. Now, if we save this. And I think I need to, yes, I do need to save my site controller. We'll save this too. Um, this should actually echo the exact same thing. So if this was a success, it'll look exactly the same. We refresh the page, and it looks exactly the same. So our, our content is now dynamic. Um, why don't we actually give that a try? We'll go to CI underscore site into the page data table. For the home, we'll edit some of this data. And instead of for lorem ipsum, we'll give it a couple enters and go testing for the internet. Go down and go click go. And back to our website. We'll refresh this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? Now we have content managed uh, pages. Well, just one page. The, whole, the about page is still the exact same. But let me show you how powerful this actually is. Now that I've written this, clean this up a little bit, you can copy the exact same thing into this, into the about view. I'll just control C and I'm going to highlight all of this, and paste it, replace everything with this exact same thing. And we're just going to pass it in a different row and call it, call the function in, in the site controller. So if we go back into the site controller, you can copy and paste this, control C, except for I'm sure you guessed we're going to pass in about instead of home. So it's going to return the, whatever is in the about um, the about row. We just need to pass in the data array. Sure enough, now if we save the controller, go back to our website and click on the about link, and that is our awesome content managed about page now. Um, to test this, why don't we change some of the about data? Click edit. Scroll down, put the R in here, about, go, and if we refresh this, woo, look at that, okay, I'm getting a little excited.
programming is so much fun. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Our website is now content managed. Now if we have something like a content management system, uh, this, this content can now be changed on the fly with something or just from a data, just from PHP ED like you've seen me do. And uh, it updates the website dynamically. It's extremely powerful, extremely useful. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, next video, we'll be talking about the form helper. We'll be working on the contact page because you've seen here we, we haven't actually linked it to anything. So next video, we'll be working on sending a form and an email and all kinds of fun things. Uh, thanks for watching.